ever struggled with writer's block? It's a common term thrown around, but what does it really mean? Writer's block is not just a creative rut or a temporary lack of inspiration. It's a genuine psychological obstacle that can make it feel impossible to put pen to paper. It's often misunderstood as a sign of lack of talent or discipline, but the truth is far from it. It's a complex mix of fear, self-doubt, and perfectionism that can paralyze even the most skilled wordsmiths. Most importantly, it's not a sign of weakness or inadequacy. It's a universal experience that can strike anyone, whether you're penning your first poem or drafting your 10th novel. So, whether you're a first-time writer or a seasoned author, writer's block can hit you. But don't worry, there are ways to navigate through it. How do you know if you're experiencing writer's block? It's not always as clear-cut as staring at a blank page. Sometimes the signs are more insidious. You might find yourself spiraling into a vortex of frustration, feeling like every sentence you craft is lackluster. Or perhaps you're wrestling with a gnawing lack of motivation, finding any excuse to avoid sitting down to write. Self-doubt can also creep in, whispering that your ideas aren't good enough, that you're not a real writer. These emotional and cognitive signals are telltale symptoms of being blocked. And the impact isn't just emotional. Writer's block can throttle your productivity, leaving your creativity gasping for air. You might notice a decline in the quality of your work or find it difficult to generate fresh ideas. If you're feeling stuck or unproductive, you might be dealing with writer's block. But remember, it's a common experience and there are ways to overcome it. Can you prevent writer's block? Absolutely. One of the most effective strategies is to develop a consistent writing routine. Like any other skill, writing improves with regular practice. So whether it's first thing in the morning, during a lunch break or late at night, finding a routine that works for you can make a world of difference. But it's not just about when you write, it's also about where. Creating a conducive writing environment, a space that inspires and motivates you, can also help ward off writer's block. This could be a quiet study, a bustling coffee shop, or even a park bench. The key is to find a place that nurtures your creativity. In addition to this, preventative techniques such as free writing and brainstorming can be incredibly useful. These can help you to keep the creative juices flowing and stave off any potential blockages. By implementing these proactive strategies, you can significantly reduce the likelihood of encountering writer's block. What do you do when the dreaded writer's block strikes? Well, one of the first things to remember is that writer's block is not a monolith. It's not a single, unbreakable wall, but rather a series of small hurdles. As such, the first technique to overcome it is breaking down the task into smaller, more manageable steps. Instead of staring at a blank page trying to write a whole chapter, focus on writing a single paragraph or even a single sentence. This is a way to trick your brain into thinking the task is easier than it is, making the prospect of writing less daunting. Now, if you're still feeling stuck, it might be time to shift your perspective. Try looking at your work from a different angle. If you're writing a story, consider exploring a minor character's point of view or delve into a subplot. If it's an article or an essay, try framing your argument differently. This can often provide the spark needed to get the words flowing again. Another effective technique is changing your environment. Our surroundings have a significant impact on our creative output. A change of scenery, whether it's moving to a different room, going to a cafe, or even just rearranging your workspace, can provide a fresh perspective and stimulate creativity. But what if you've tried all these techniques and you're still stuck? Well, sometimes the best thing to do is step away from the task at hand. Engage in physical activity. Go for a walk, do some yoga, dance around your room, anything that gets your blood pumping. Physical activity has been shown to boost creativity by increasing blood flow to the brain and reducing stress. Lastly, don't forget to be patient with yourself. Writer's block is frustrating, but it's also a normal part of the creative process. It's not a reflection of your talent or your worth as a writer. It's merely a signal that your approach needs tweaking, that your brain needs a reboot. Remember, when writer's block hits, it's not a dead end. It's just a sign that you need a different approach. Did you know that self-care plays a crucial role in combating writer's block? Indeed, it's not all about wrestling with words. Sometimes it's about stepping back. Regular breaks are key to creative recovery. Think of it as allowing your brain to recharge, to marinate ideas subconsciously. Now, stress is a frequent culprit behind writer's block. Managing it effectively can make a world of difference. Techniques such as deep breathing, yoga, or even a simple walk can help alleviate stress, giving your creativity a chance to flourish again. 
But it doesn't stop there. Ever tried meditation or mindfulness practices? These techniques train your mind to focus and to let go of detrimental thoughts that may be hindering your writing process. They create a mental environment conducive to creativity where ideas can flow freely. Remember, your mind is the wellspring of your creativity. Care for it, nurture it. In the battle against writer's block, self-care is your secret weapon. When should you seek external help for writer's block? When the block persists despite all your best efforts, it might be time to reach out. Writing groups and peer support can be invaluable. The camaraderie of fellow writers, their shared experiences and collective wisdom can provide fresh perspectives and practical suggestions. A problem shared is indeed a problem halved. For more persistent blocks, professional counseling could be a viable option. Therapists who specialize in creative blocks can provide insights into underlying issues and offer strategies to overcome them. They can help unravel the complex tangle of thoughts that may be holding you back. But remember, it's not a one-size-fits-all scenario. The right kind of help depends on your unique situation. You might need a sounding board, a mentor, a coach, or a counselor. It's about finding what works for you. Remember, it's okay to ask for help. You're not alone in your struggle with writer's block, and there are people and resources out there ready to assist you.